Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to do a nozzle check, which is like a test page, on an Epson XP322. Now this is nice and simple, it can be done from the printer itself, using nothing but the small control panel we can see here. So, first of all, we're going to move ourselves along to setup, using the right hand arrow. Once that's selected in orange, press OK to go in. Then we press right once, and press OK to go into maintenance. Once we're in maintenance, nozzle check is the very first option. So we press OK. Obviously you're going to need some paper in there to print to, so make sure that's all in place. And you press the start button over here to get going. And this will take the printer just a minute. And eventually you'll end up with a page that looks a little something like this. You should also have a nice little yellow looking block up there, and hopefully it looks a little bit prettier than mine got a small issue with the cyan here as well. But what this basically is, is a breakdown of the black, cyan, magenta and yellow that your printer uses. And any breaks or missing colours that are here show uh, either a severe issue, like with the yellow that's not come through at all, or a little break like that, which would look something like just a, uh, typically just like a horizontal line on your prints when they come out. But back at the screen, your printer will actively be asking for if there's any missing patches on the nozzle check which there were in our case. If there are, I press yes. And then you get the option to go straight into the print head cleans that I mentioned. And this is a great way of resolving print quality issues. The print head cleans, they just kind of force ink through the printer's print head to hopefully dislodge any dried or congealed ink that could be causing print quality issues like the ones we saw on our page. You can run a few of these and do some more nozzle checks from the machine to hopefully resolve the majority of print quality issues. Now, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.